Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stop the Biscuit. A uh, quick update on Starfarer, I feel. This is a game that I've been keeping an eye on. I gave you a WTF is of of the earlier alpha version. There was a new alpha out. This one actually includes some of the major features that you're going to be seeing in the full game, including the campaign mode, which is perhaps the biggest addition. So when I did my first video, I explained that it was very much an alpha version, a proof of concept. It had a mission mode, and it didn't have a campaign. This one does have a campaign, and it's a bit bare bones at the moment, honestly, but I want to show you a little bit of the actual campaign mode and what you can expect. You can expect that you will look very, very grumpy about everything, but it's okay because you have other options, like you can hide your face. In fact, everyone here is hideous. Every single one of them is absolutely damn hideous. So we shall hide our face behind this. There we go. Now I look much, much less ridiculous. There we go. And then you can start your game. And what ends up happening is you start with this. Well, this is a little bit of a downgrade from previous, isn't it? This is your fleet. You start with one ship, a Lasher-class frigate. These are they're pretty good for fighting small ships, but will get easily annihilated by anything else. And you are tasked at this point with just leveling up and actually getting more ships for your fleet. There don't appear to be any missions in this just yet. As I said, this is very much work in progress. It's still an alpha, so they are adding functionality. But you can fly around and engage various different fleets. One I would not recommend engaging is that one, because that will kill you in about two seconds flat. This you could probably take. The main problem you're going to have is that pirates have this tendency of running the hell away from you immediately if you go anywhere near them, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. My first attempt at this involved flying around for 20 minutes until I could find a pirate that would actually engage me, and they seemed to believe that they could win. They were, of course, mistaken in that respect. I might be able to engage these guys. There we go. These guys think they can beat me because, well, it's a Parama bo Bomber Wing and a Talon Interceptor Wing. They can't. <laughs> they can't, really, unless I screw it up completely, but let's open a comm link, see what they have. You know what? I think we're just going to massacre them horribly, so let us move in to engage. Now, they've also added a new kind of engagement, which is a, the small engagement, which has no objectives of any kind whatsoever. So for straight-up skirmishers, you don't have the capturable points and stuff like that. You just fight them straight on on the battlefield like this. And you don't even deploy your fleet. It just puts you straight in very, very close to your targets. Uh, let's raise shields and start decide to engage. We don't have an omnidirectional shield on this, but it's fairly durable against weapons of this type. So I want to try and maneuver to such a position that they can't actually damage me. So let's try and just swing the ship around a little bit, and then we can start opening fire with our guns. Certainly taking some damage on the on the shields right there. You can see my flux is starting to raise, which means that my shields are starting to get at risk of overloading, but it's not too much of a problem at the moment. You can fire off a couple of frag missiles in their general direction and then perhaps open up with some machine guns, which is very nice if I can get close enough, but the AI is generally quite good for mostly staying out of the way. There we go, some pretty decent damage being done there. A couple of missiles coming in my direction. I could shoot most of them down. And I can eat the rest on the shields, as you can see. There we go. Let's bring the ship around and try and get some more good shots off on them. You gotta, you could definitely got to lead the target with the main guns because they they don't fire as quickly as you might imagine. There we go. Some decent damage being inflicted. Now, the possibility is that I may be able to capture some of these guys. My flux is getting really, really low. I need to vent that immediately. Otherwise, everything will upload upload. What the hell am I talking about? I'm thinking too much of YouTube here. Everything will overload and that would be very, very bad indeed because I'd lose all my weapons capability and so on and so forth. So, venting it and bringing the shields down for a couple of seconds and taking a little bit of damage on the hull is absolutely fine. Fire off another missile and these guys are almost dealt with. Unfortunately, the Talon Wing got away, so I very much doubt I'll be able to salvage much of that. But these guys aren't going anywhere, that I can guarantee. There we go, got a good line of fire on them. They've also added in the ability to damage weapons and engines, which is fairly crucial as far as I'm concerned. He's buggering off. Let's unload a couple of missiles in this direction. I'm not going to allow that to happen. There you go, you can have one of those. Turns out he didn't like that very much. We might even have the range to hit him. He's trying to escape, as you can probably tell by now. That missile just coming around on its back, and down he goes. There we go. I don't know if there's anything salvageable left there. Probably not. It is possible to board and capture ships. These guys retreated, and these guys were completely destroyed. So there is nothing there, sadly. I didn't gain anything from that. Took a slight bit of damage on the hull, but nothing that's 
too difficult to repair. No casualties. You'll see there that in my cargo I have a set of marines. These guys are used for boarding. So you need some of those. And then, of course, you've got fuel and supplies and so on and so forth that you need in order to continue to run your fleet. And now they're just running away, which is not entirely surprising. And we've now got a crew member that's decided to go to veteran level, which is nice. All right, this is going to be a bit more difficult because I'm engaging pirate raiders, a lasher class support frigate, and an assault frigate. If I could split them in two and do some initial damage, take one of them out of play, then I might survive it. Otherwise, I'll probably get my ass kicked. So let's move in to engage. And this is the struggle that you're probably going to face in this campaign mode because there are no real missions or any other way of making money yet. You're going to have to fight against guys that are probably going to kick your ass, and you can very easily lose your fleet early on. But it is not complete, as I have probably pointed out many times already and should continue to point out. All right. I'm going to unload a volley of missiles in the general direction. Bring my shields to the back in order to deflect most of this damage, which is unfortunately that's going to overload rapidly. They aren't running shields at the minute, which is certainly useful. All right. I've disabled some of his guns as well, and his engines have flamed out even better. I mean, very close. Let's unleash machine guns at close range. Engines are now online once again. Fire off another two volleys of missiles. My flux is okay at the moment. He's actually actively trying to shoot those missiles down, as you can probably see. Hopefully this missile actually hits in the back and might disable him. Some good damage being done. I don't want to let him get away, because I want him as part of my fleet. Well, I think he's going to try... All right, there's an overload for me. I need to vent my flux immediately try and avoid as much of this damage as I can. Bring the ship around again, bring the shields back up, and go in for a full-on attack run. And there we go, disabled the Hound Class Frigate. This is good because I might be able to board it later. Now, you. He finally decides to bring his shields up for whatever reason. Oh, I'm going to overload in a second. At least I can get out of range of his machine guns. Maneuvering is required in this. You don't want to just sit there and take damage because that would make you a very silly person. And you're not going to get very far if you do that. Unleash a volley of missiles in his general direction. Bring the shields up. Also bear in mind with shields offline, you actually have more speed and maneuverability. So arguably you might not want to have your shields up all the time. And of course, if your shields overload just like that, then you end up losing the ability to actually fire for a few seconds and have to vent your flux as well. Flux is useful, as I pointed out in the previous video, for powering up energy weapons. The more flux you have, the more powerful your energy weapons are. But all of my weapons are physical damage, so... I'm going to try and overload his shields. It's very, very close to happening. But he's brought his shields down and is venting his flux. It's a perfect opportunity for me to try and get a good volley on him. He's got a tough hull, unfortunately, for me. So I'm not going to be able to do too much damage. There we go. I've managed to overload his as well. And that brought his Vulcan cannons offline. Very good. Okay, good damage being done right now. Very good. There goes his auto cannons. I have no missiles remaining. So he's trying to run and flee. I'm not going to have any of that nonsense. Thank you very much. So, let's bring him down. There's another shield overload. Deploy the longer range weapons. He's slightly out of range of my main guns. Oh, now he's unleashing missiles. Oh, dear. This hull damage is going to take a little bit to repair. Oh, my... Oh, wow. Ah! Oh, my guns! Oh, my guns! No! Really? Come on, g g just give me one gun. Any gun. I don't care what. Okay, what have I got? Right, I've got my light machine guns are on light. Ah! Seriously? I win! And all of my ships are destroyed. So that doesn't help at all. Damn it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> God, what were the chances? What were the chances? Ugh. Well, thanks, game. I have a shuttle-class attack transport. Wow, I feel special. Oh, look, can I buy another ship? Do I have them? Did I manage to salvage enough? Let's see. What have I got? I've got 6,500 credits. Oh, seriously? Wow, a fighter wing costs more than that. Oh. I I could maybe sell this and get a lasher. Oh, I could, I could afford a tanker, possibly. I don't even have the crew to fly these. Oh, uh, what were the chances? Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, dear. Well, I think we've, we've suitably demonstrated that there are some issues potentially with this. Why did that happen? Why? 
I only have five crew left. This is pathetic. What weapons has this thing got? Two pulse lasers. Yes. I am feeling it. All right. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit else. A, a little bit. A little bit else. Not really a sentence, is it? Let's try again. A few other things about this. You can customize the ship by adding a whole modifications. As you can see, I've got vents right there for flux dissipation and capacitors. You can add all of these different hull modifications, which will give you a wide variety of different upgrades, which is nice. Good amount of customization there. And of course, if you were to look into your weapon groups, you can equip different kinds of weapons. You can strip that, and you can even load shuttle variants right here. And you can export your current variant. So if you want to equip multiple ships in the same way, you can do so. So I could equip this if I had point defense lasers as a point defense ship. I don't have them. As you can see, that is my attack variant. Double pulse laser. Bring it on. Oh, dear Lord. Clawing my way back from that could be quite difficult. This kind of reminds me right now, certainly, of Mountain Blade in space, and that's definitely a good thing as far as I'm concerned. But being put into this situation is kind of lousy. It's... There's a mercenary resupply. Wow, pirate attack fleet is heading in my direction. Yeah, I'm going to die. I'm going to die so badly right now. My shuttle versus an entire pirate attack fleet. Bring it on. I have two pulse lasers. That's what they do. They're certainly rapid firing, but I'm not fancying my chances at this point. Five fully armed pirate attack ships versus my shuttle. Bring it on. Here come the missiles. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. The lack of damage. Ah! Needless to say, at the moment, Starfarer is a little tricky. But a pretty cool upgrade, nonetheless. What did it give me this time? Did it give me a better fleet? Did it give me a better ship? No, it gave me a tanker. <laughs> I'm a space failure. But yeah, Starfarer. Currently available for $10 on the Alpha pre-sale. Getting consistent upgrades and looking progressively better. Very cool indeed. I'll see you next time.